Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be explaining a, a squares calculation method involving three digit numbers. But there is a special condition here. All these numbers, all these three digit numbers that I have mentioned written here have the middle digit or the second digit as zero. Okay, remember this, this particular method is applicable only in this situation where the tens place digit in all the three digit numbers is zero. Okay, in such situations, we can find the squares of these three digit numbers in a matter of just two or three seconds. Just observe this, watch this video carefully, you will understand the method and you can then practice it to gain confidence. And I'm sure every one of you will be able to uh, solve it within a matter of seconds. Remember, this method is useful only for those appearing for competitive exams or students who are in higher standards. So it's preferred that this video is not uh, shown or not particularly taught or expected or to be taught to students who are in uh, primary section or the lower secondary section okay so this is uh, specifically for older kids or those appearing for competitive exams so let's start in the first example 305 square so the steps are as follows we are straight away going to the final answer the first step is to write down the square of the first leftmost digit. So leftmost digit is 3. The square of 3 is 9. I write down 9 here. The next step is to find the product of the end two digits and double it. Okay. So the end two digits are 3 and 5. So 3 and 5. Product of 3 and 5 is 15. And double of 15 is 30. So I'll write down 30 here. And the final step, now one final step and our answer is ready. The final step is to write down the square of the rightmost digit or the units place digit. Here the units place digit is 5. So the square of 5 is 25. So write down 5 here and our answer is ready. You won't believe it. This is actually the correct answer. And it's very possible that you can solve this uh, or write down this answer in a matter of 2-3 seconds. Okay, two or three seconds, that's po possible. Now just check out all the remaining uh, examples and you will come to know that this is, this actually you can achieve it. We'll start with the leftmost digit square. So five square is 25. The next step is find the product of the end two digits and double it. So five times eight is 40 and double of 40 is 80. Okay, I'll write down 80 here. And the last step is to double, uh, find the square of the rightmost digit or the units place digit. The square of eight is 64 and the answer is done. Okay, 508 square is 258064. This is the actually the correct answer. For 801 square, here there is a slight uh, point where you need to be careful at the end. So just observe this one carefully. This is the same method, same procedure, but at the end you need to make a slight change. So just watch this. We'll start with the square of the leftmost digit 8, that is 64. Then the next step is product of the end two digits, that is 8 times 1 is 8 and double of 8 is 16, so 16 is written. And for the final step, we need to write down the square of the units place digit. The units place digit 1 is 1 and the square of 1 is again 1. It's a one digit number. So the here there is a slight change, we need to make it a two digit number. Okay, so 1 times 1 will be 1, but we need to make it a two digit number, that's why we'll write 0 1 instead of just 1. Okay, we'll write it as 0, 1. And now we have the correct answer. 801 square is 641601. Okay, now for the next example, 904 square. First square of 9 is 81. Then 9 times 4 is 36. Double of 36 is 72. And finally, square of 4 is 16. And our answer is ready. Now for the fifth example, the both the end digits are 7 so it's very easy again so uh, square of 7 is 49 then 7 multiplied by 7 is 49 and double of 49 is 98 and at the end square of 40, uh, 7 is 49 so 49 98 49 and our answer is ready so just Try these examples, try more such examples where the middle digit is 0 
try different numbers having three digit numbers having the middle digit as zero practice it and you'll uh, be able to actually solve this in a matter of two or three seconds okay all the best in the next video i'll be showing you a method to find squares or calculate squares of random three digit numbers having any random digit in each place okay so random three digit number squares method i'll be showing or demonstrating in the next video